Hi techies, I hope all are doing well. In this video, I am going to cover how to convert a relational data into hierarchical data format. So my source will be the relational data and my target will be the JSON format or XML format. So first of all, before working with this uh, scenario, like how we can convert relational data into hierarchical data, you just have to know two transformation and one component. The two transformations is uh, um, the two transformations are hierarchical hierarchy builder transformation, and another one is hierarchy parser transformation. And hierarchy schema is the component in IACS which will create a skeleton of hierarchy structure. If you give a sample a JSON file, it will convert into uh, hierarchy structure. So uh, it just create one skeleton. So this hierarchy schema we are going to use in hierarchy builder and hierarchy parser transformation. Hierarchy builder is a transformation in IACS uh, that converts relational data into hierarchy data. Means it's a table data to JSON or XML format. If you wanna do same thing vice versa then hierarchy parser. It will convert hierarchical data, JSON or XML into a relational data. Okay. So today in this, in this video, I'm just going to cover hierarchy builder transformation because if you know hierarchy builder transformation, it's easy to work a hierarchy parser because it's the same. Just a source and target is going to change vice versa. The common thing is hierarchy schema. This is the component we use for both hierarchy builder and hierarchy parser. This will create a skeleton of hierarchy structure. For this, you have to give the sample file when you are creating this hierarchy schema. So it will just create the JSON format or XML format. And now I'm just gonna show you my table. So I'm using Snowflake database. Here I have it customer table. In this customer table, I have ID and name. This is the relational fields I have. So this data I'm going to uh, create as uh, convert as a JSON format. So for this, I'm going to do one mapping in the IACS. So I'm going to create a new mapping. So this is my source. My source will be a relational table. So I'm going to take Snowflake uh, connection and also the customer table. Kithi test is my database in the Snowflake which I have created. And the test is the schema in Snowflake. And in that I have customer table. So I am taking this customer table. So first of all, you have to create hierarchy schema component before using this hierarchy builder transformation. You can see hierarchy parser also, but now we are using hierarchy builder only. Before that, you have to create hierarchy schema. So just go to new components. Here you can see hierarchy schema transformation created. So Hierarchies, hierarchical schema for I'm giving name customer okay so location we have to give where we need to save this I'm giving test folder only and the sample file I told you right we have to give sample JSON file so it will create a structure skeleton for hierarchy
uh, I have some sample JSON file. So you can see this. I'm giving this sample JSON file. The format is like this ID and name. This is the sample file I have in my local machine. So just validate it. This is the correct JSON file. I want to show you that one also. Um, where is my JSON file? So, sample JSON file. Yes. Yeah, this is the format I need the data. So this is the JSON format. So the sample format I'm giving like this, it's going to create an hierarchy. Okay. And save it. Okay. Now I'm going to the mapping and I'm creating this hierarchy builder transformation. And first of all, I'm going to give target also. I'm giving some lateral connection. And here I'm going to give the file link. I'm going to create new at runtime because I don't have any file now. And I'm going to give ff underscore ff means flat file customer and dot json this is the file i'm going to give file name i'm going to give it will create run at runtime i don't have that file in my local machine it will create automatically and save and in the formatting options delimited fixed width these are i'm going to give none for text qualifier okay save it so in incoming fields You are seeing ID and name which is coming from source table. Okay. In output settings, you can see schema. Here you have to select hierarchical schema which we have created now for customer. Okay. And in field mapping, You can see ID and name, but there is no relational fields because it's disconnected here, the link. Okay, now you can see ID and name. You just have to map the source field names to the hierarchy, hierarchy fields. You can see this is the hierarchy transform, I mean hierarchy schema created this structure ID and name. So as per the sample uh, file, which we have given in the hierarchical schema. So this is the tags ID and name. And these, these are coming from the database uh, table fields. These are the, so I'm just mapping this uh, from here to here by dragging like this. Okay. So I'm just mapping the fields, source fields to the target fields and save it. And here in target also the link disconnected. Again, create it. Okay. Now run it. Go to my jobs. I this I have filter here. Okay, it's running. Mapping six.
so you can see success rows target rows it's successfully completed you can see status success so we'll just go and check the target data so the target file name is ff underscore customer and dot json so this is the output which is given in the json format file only which we have given in schema i mean hierarchy schema the sample file we have given in the same format it's just created for two records to uh, for two records it's created okay one is one kirti and i did two and kirti but here this output uh, we are getting extra which i haven't given in the schema schema structure so for this what we have to do to which we don't want means um sorry go to this mapping six our mapping here in the target I have to keep a uh, no header something like this yeah here header option is there right so it is giving default as output the header so we just create no header i am giving no header here so it will not create any output header in the target file as it is how we can um, how we have given in the sample data file like that only it will create it i am just running one more time after saving that it's running success if you see here the customer json see there is no have output header on top as it is or however we have given same like that it it has uh, given the output as per the json sample file okay yeah thank you for watching this video and just try for the uh, hierarchy password transformation also which is same it's just vice versa okay yeah thank you so much for watching